All right, so what we have here is a homemade smoke machine. You're gonna need a few things to get this put together how you're gonna want it. Um, start off, I use the Tiki Torch Wicks. I used two of them, so they came in three packs, so hey, I got a spare. I got 20 gauge Canthal wire, or 25 foot Nichrome, 80 wire, it's 20 gauge. Pretty cheap to find that. Some wire. Went with a decent heavy duty gauge wire. Some alligator clamps. Some automotive hose. This fitting cost me, I think, the most out of everything. This was $10. This comes on the OTC smoke machine. So, but I didn't want to dick around. <clears throat> I wanted a nice tapered fitting. So, one that'll pretty much plug into any vacuum line out there that I'm going to want to tap into so there you go this bad boy here this was free 90 free got that off a of propane grill that was headed to the scrap yard so all I did was make some modifications to it added an air chuck here so it'll regulate it down to approximately 3 psi and then we'll flip on the inside I threaded it here So I can hold it in place. So basically the air comes in from your shop supply. You don't have to regulate it down because that's what this bad boy does. Pressurizes this canister here, which is an ammo can. And it'll push the smoke out through here. After heating up, you can see a little better. There's your uh, Tiki Torch wicks in there. Now I put two of them together, wrapped them in about two feet of the canthal wire, and one of them I bent down as such to act as a wick to draw up mineral oil that's in there. Kind of hard to see if maybe I can get it in the light. There you go. You see how that's done up. Now where the wires go through, there's a rubber grommets with threaded inserts. So I drilled the holes. Added the rubber grommets with the threaded inserts, put the bolts through, and the bolts I made sure they were long enough to come out the other side so I could basically twist the wire and run a nut around it. So basically, what you're doing is you're making a short and it gets hot and it heats up, burns off the oil, and makes smoke. Fortunately, my compressor is down right now. But I can guarantee you this thing works pretty nice. So, shop air goes in. I was going to use a, I saw a nifty idea where a guy used battery power source. And I thought that was really nice. Plug it into the wall. But honestly, this is a lot easier. You got your battery right there. You just go right to it. So, all you got to do is bring this out to the car and run your shop hose. And you're good to go. Um, take a little bit of time to put together nothing too crazy and you don't have to use an ammo can I did because I had it available and thought it would look cool a lot of guys use paint cans for it but then you have to pry the top off every time I would stick to something metal or something that's not gonna be damaged from heat and uh, have at it but I've used it several times now to, to diagnose some uh, intake leaks and she's worked great for me so, hope this uh, gives you some ideas on what you might want to do to fashion your own. I think I have maybe $25 into this whole thing, including the mineral oil that's inside it. So, a lot cheaper than what's out there because you're considering they're running about $1,000 to get into a smoke machine. So, alright, enjoy. Enjoy.